The preparations continue here at the Werribee International Horse Centre for the Emirates Melbourne Cup and the star stepped out this morning. Alain de Roy Dupre is in town to oversee Verima's final work. He's confident that she's the right horse to send towards the Emirates Melbourne Cup. She won two group two uh, with a good turn of foot. It was, uh, we are thinking about the, this race because she, I think to, to do well in Flemington you, you need a horse who is able to have a good turn of foot. And uh, she don't continue to, to race in, in Europe because uh, she don't like the soft ground. And it was uh, the owner, the Prince Agakan, uh, was uh, happy to, to try to, to come. Mike Moroni has been putting some very strong work into Valeurs de Kurs and it was another good showing this morning. This is going to be the morning where we um, gave her a strongest gallop. Um, decided to do it Friday rather than Saturday and it still gives me Sunday to do something if I do want to do something with her. So, uh, yeah, it looked like she had a nice searching gallop, especially the last 600 of her work and that. Uh, ran about a second and a bit quicker than what she did the other day. And um, just had a nice little blow. James said, but cleared her ear pretty quick and he, he thinks she's pretty fit. So, Well, he might be a three-year-old colt as far as European standards are concerned, but Trea Blue has been impressing here at Werribee and Tommy Berry is just as pleased with a few days to go. Yeah, no, I think he keeps firming in the market. He's, uh, he's going really well. He's, his work's great and uh, he's pulling up very well from it, so I don't think the trip will be uh, a problem at all. Red Cadeau is a real war horse. He's been plenty of places, won a couple of good races since he was in Melbourne last time. Trainer Ed Dunlop is hoping this time he'll get a good gait. Class prevails is what normally happens in, in races. Um, but, you know, it depends on the draw. We've been drawn 15 and 17. I'd like a better draw this time. That's what I really want to give Mr Mossy a chance to be slightly closer. I might be crazy saying this, but I think, um, you know... Of course, weight makes a difference, but I think the, the horses that are all running are all virtually the fancy ones are either European or ex-Europeans, and, and the horse that turns up on the day in good condition in the right place will probably win. So while all the action's happening at Flemington tomorrow, the preparations will still continue here at Werribee towards Tuesday. Don't forget to keep checking springracingcarnival.com.au. Get back on track, Victoria. The Spring Racing Carnival. It's time for some real entertainment. Visit springracingcarnival.com.au. You know you want to.